It is a woman who claims to be marrying a hologram. I'm not kidding you. I think she might be lying. I'm fairly confident she is. But this woman who is an artist claims she's dating an AI hologram. Now, she is saying that this is art, but she's also carrying on with this massive stunt where she's saying this is real. An artist living in the Netherlands has claimed that she has plans on marrying a hologram backed by artificial intelligence that fulfills all her emotional needs. Alicia Framis, and she's Dutch, Spanish woman living in the Netherlands or something like that. She will allegedly marry an AI-driven hologram that she claimed is based on profile information from her previous romantic partners. Framis said in a press release that she and her mate AILIX, or Alix, I don't know, will have a unique ritual for the union between a human and an avatar. Guests will be served molecular food that can be enjoyed by both humans and humanoid entities. However, Framus is a performance artist who has claimed previously that she had a relationship with a mannequin named Pierre. And as a French person, that really triggers me. So here's some of the videos she released. And um, it's not convincing at all. It's going to work. We got to pop it. There we go. <laughs> See, it says performance series right away. Like, she's a performance artist, and this, this looks completely fake. But at the same time, she's sending out a press release for a marriage where she's getting married to a hologram, and she's got all this stuff. I don't even know what to say. This is just bad... This is just bad, like, this is just, they have the guy sitting there for one for one version. Like, I can tell you automatically, like, literally technically what's happening here. They film this girl first, eating like this. Then they film this guy separately with the same background. And then they just change the opacity. Like, it's, uh, they overlap it, or they could cut it down the middle. There's many different things they can do here. And then you just select this guy. Cut them out, and you change the opacity of it. Oh, very nice. I put some uh, sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Why would her boyfriend be English? Why would he be a guy speaking English to her? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, this is, like, a bad, this is a bad 80s movie. She's going to marry a hologram. She appears with her partner sharing everyday tasks. What would you do in a future where men were scarce? And all you had to do, all you had to have sex with was a holographic man. What would make this more exciting would be if this woman was claiming that her AI hologram would, was abusive. That would be the better better path for her to go down. If she wanted, you know, the b most and best publicity she possibly could, the story would be this woman is married to an AI hologram that she claims is abusive to her. I love my hologram. He's based on all my ex-boyfriends so I could get the perfect fit for me. His AI is based on everything that I want in a man. But all of a sudden, he came became abusive. And then she puts marks on herself and, and assures you that it's not makeup. And she just says that, you know, she's oppressed. She's a woman of color and he's a white hologram and he's been holding her down. He doesn't want her to get a job. Like that's the that's the better story here. An abusive white male hologram that oppresses its partner. And, you know, I'm looking for some equity here. I'm looking for something to be done about this. That's the story I want to <laughs> read. That's the thing I want to do. That's the thing that I want to cover. But she doesn't say that. They've got all these things on the website where they're basically trying trying to act like this is serious and it says performances with AI married to a hologram, the beginning of hybrid couples. And, and, and I don't know. It, it's so stupid that it's impossible to tell if she's trying to say, Hey, this is art or she's saying, Hey, I'm marrying an AI guy. 
Because if you're saying it's just art, you don't put out a press release that says, I'm marrying a person, this hologram, and we're going to have a wedding and stuff. No, the art would say, the press release would say, a woman is showing what it would be like to have a couple, to be a couple with a hologram to showcase what the future might be like with AI. But no, it fulfills all her needs. They even took pictures together. They even drew multiple lines over the guy like it's an 80s sci-fi movie. This is a romantic relationship between a human and artificial intelligence. While we know that robots and humans will soon become sexual partners, <laughs> that's a uh, an assured statement that this woman makes. On, this is on her website, by the way. We soon know that robots and humans will start having sex. That's written by somebody who's been having sex with a robot or very soon wishes that they were and plans on it. I plan on having sex with this robot. Framus believes that the next important step is emotionally connecting humans with artificial intelligence. Holograms are closer to emotions than robots. What does that mean? Holograms are closer to her emotions than robots. She goes on. Love and sex with robots and holograms are inevitable reality. This is getting weirder than I even thought. They make great companions and are capable of expressing empathy. Just as telephones saved us from loneliness and filled the void in our lives, holograms are interactive presences in our home. In our homes, as interactive presences in our homes can take it even further. Is that why the phone was invented for lonely people and not as just a way to communicate faster? I'm lonely. I don't need to just communicate a message to you. It's based on loneliness. Okay. This contemporary couple delves into the theme of inf intimacy and emotional relationships by introducing a virtual partner designed to be her companion. How can the couple together introduce their the virtual partner? AI Lex, an inter interactive holographic sculpture, is an AI entity created using the profiles of people she knows. The purpose of this is to share life and emotions, engaging with various contemporary debates such as posthumanism, virtuality, and the complex intersections of gender within intimate and social spaces, including their dissolution. None of this makes any sense. We're just throwing words out there. Contemporary debates such as posthumanism, virtuality, and gender intersectionality. This woman doesn't make any sense. This is her her personal statement on her website, separate. And, and it, it's absolute, absolute gibberish. I, I've read this part. Alicia Framis is a Spanish Dutch artist who lives and works in Amsterdam and is considered one of the most important artists in Europe for her social involvement in women and minorities issues in today's society. As an artist, she carries out large scale interventions to shake up systems and conventions. Her interventions, which are often made in collaborations with citizens can be seen as sculptures, combining art, architecture, design. Is this just an AI writing? Is this woman just screwing with us? I think it was over here that made the least sense. Because for over here, it's, it talks in third person, and then in over here, it's first person. In Barcelona, Spain, check this out. In Barcelona, Spain, I encountered loneliness, most likely to multiply in specific neighborhoods where people from two diverse cultural backgrounds in the lower socioeconomic runs of society cohabitate as regulated by income bracket, losing the direct social links for support that once existed in a more culturally homogenous makeup of communities. What? <laughs> Mönchengladbach, Germany, I encountered loneliness seeping into late-stage lives where medical support systems for the elderly were too pragmatically universalized for administrative regulation. These are just two examples I encountered where support systems failed. These systems that, with the clearest intentions, designed social care through intric intricately thought-out systematic logistics, oftentimes ended up stripping the inherently needed solidarity from the process and streamlining it as a workable product to be delivered and administratively organized. I just, I just had an aneurysm. I'm pretty sure my brain hurts after that lady. Are you marrying the hologram or are you pretending? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Oh my goodness. Whew. Let's go back to the article. Shall we? That's just brain melding. Whew. She's the first woman to marry a hologram. We went over that. 
She's labeled herself as, a cont- as an artist who comments on outdated or uneven societal power structures and misgivings through the use of performance art, design, architecture, and garments. And many of their statements were there. Um, see, she, But in her press release, it she doesn't act like it's performance art. Framus noted in her press materials that AI companions can be beneficial to lonely people and explained that her hologram would fulfill all her needs. See, that sounds like you're legitimately saying having a hologram is a cure for loneliness, loneliness because it's catered to your personality. It's interesting how we can get a mortgage to buy a new car, and now we can have a mortgage to buy a new companion. Her focus on sex with robots was was pretty suspicious, don't you think? Turn it up, Jordan. 